Sir Sonia, you have the floor. Thank you, Acting Mr. Chair, Honorable Members. I'm very happy to present SB 412, the Lanterman Act is California's promise to serve people with developmental disabilities and their families. Today, well over 300,000 individuals are a part of the service system. Regional centers are their heart, coordinating services and connecting families to the resources they need. During the Great Recession, the suffered many, suffered many cuts, as well as fees imposed on families. These fees really should be called disability taxes because they are a barrier between children and the services they need, including services that are particularly valuable to diverse communities. They also hurt what is meant to be a collaborative relationship between centers and those that they serve. SB 412 will repeal two of these fees, the Family Cost Participation Program and the Annual Family Program Fee. Both of these programs raise little money and force regional centers to spend time and resources focused on collecting money instead of coordinating and delivering services. By repealing them, we can remove these barriers to service for children with developmental disabilities and their families. Today with me to testify in support of SB 412 is Amy Westling, Executive Director of ARCA, and Jennifer Bloom, who works for Alta California Regional Center. Welcome, ladies, if my witnesses yes, thank you. Uh, participate. Witnesses, please. Yes, my name is Amy Westling. I'm the director of the Association of Regional Center Agencies, and I want to first thank Senator Stone for your ongoing support of people with developmental disabilities and their families, as well as extend my gratitude to committee staff for the thorough analysis of this bill. As Senator Stone noted, the Family Cost Participation Program requires regional centers to assess children's needs for family support services including respite and daycare, and then to reduce the amount of services they fund for some children in response to family income. The annual family program fee requires many parents of infants, toddlers, and children served by regional centers to pay a fee to the state because they access needed services for their children with developmental disabilities. In response to this program, regional centers have seen families declining or postponing services for their children in postponing services their children need in response to the fees, a move that in the long run leaves children requiring more costly state-funded services. Depending on income, the fee is either $150 or $200 per year, which may seem small, but is unattainable for many and may be the difference between a child accessing services and not. One of the primary jobs of regional centers is to make the lives of families that have children with developmental disabilities easier. These policies force them to choose between their children's developmental needs and other critical family necessities. Both programs were established at a time when the state was facing budgetary challenges, and the programs were short-sighted solutions that have led to families foregoing services that they and their children need. And with that, I'll turn it over to Jennifer Bloom to provide some real-world examples. Hello. Thank you for your time today. Um, I, my name is Jennifer Bloom. I'm from Alta California Regional Center. I'm a client services manager of a children's unit serving children ages 3 to 18. I've um, been doing that for four years, and prior to that, I was a service coordinator in the children's unit for seven years. So I know what it's like to be in the family home and asking families for their tax returns, and it's very intrusive. Um, families are resistant to provide their um, tax returns to the regional center, that's private information, so it's uncomfortable for many families to do so. Um, and we found in, in that that families sometimes will decline services or forego services because if they are assessed a fee, as Amy stated, they may not find that that fee fits into their budget, and then they may decline services that we have assessed a need for. So, um, you know, we have seen that to be a deterrent. Um, families, you know, we don't want them to be making decisions on services for their child based upon a fee, and we have seen that happen. Um, other testimony in favor, please? This is in favor of this bill, SB 412. Eric Harris with Disability Rights California in support. Okay. Anybody else want to speak in favor? And Jeff Tardagia in support as part of the coalition. Okay, thank you. Uh, opponents, uh, speakers opposing this bill, SB 412. Seeing none. Questions from committee? Who's the bill? 
There is a motion for the bill. Any other questions? If, if not, you may close, Senator. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, we certainly can understand when these fees were, were imposed, it was in, the state was in a different economic time. As we've seen, this is a barrier to providing children with the needed services that they, they need and deserve. And uh, for those reasons, I respectfully ask for your high vote. Thank you. And we'll call the roll, please. Hurtado? Um, actually, first, SB 412, um, Senator Stone. The motion is due passed to appropriation. Hurtado? Stone? Aye. Stone, aye. Bell? Aye. Bell, aye. Jackson? Pan? Aye. Pan, aye. Wiener? Um, it's 3 0. Keep that open. 3 0. We'll leave, leave the roll open. Thank you. Thank you.